Funko Brothers. Yes. It's time for another super epic, mega, awesome haul video. My super show! Welcome back again to the Funko Brothers Super Show right here on the Arson Brothers Network. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, please, we ask you drop down below here, click subscribe as we're growing. It really helps, of course. Yeah, like this video. Leave a comment below. This one today, we're all about the hauls. We want to know what you got. This is kind of our December hauls video, uh, really pre-Christmas December for us. But please, we'd like to know what you got. Uh, let's get interactive here. And it, it just helps everything out. So if you like what we're doing, you know, do that. Of course, find us all over Facebook, Arson Brothers on Facebook. On Twitter, uh, Arson Brothers. Instagram, you can find Arson Brothers, of course. And also, you can find us at Funko Brothers Super Show. And that's where uh, we post a lot of stuff we get and about upcoming videos, things of that nature, of course. But as I said, today we're looking at our December hauls, everything we've got. I've got a bunch of pops uh, lined up right there behind the camera. We're going to be sending it to A.B. Sean Allen, look at his monthly scores. And then, of course, to the boy, A.B. Jr. Luke, and see what he brought home here as of late. And then, well, as I said, this is pre-Christmas, so I guess we'll probably have a little uh, extra haul video after Christmas, most likely. But definitely going to do the favorites of 2018 that should be our next video coming out after this one and we'll just look at the categories of pops and what we liked best what we thought was the best that came out but as you can see i ab matt klein at blue turtle grass i am in the arson studio here and i'm going to be going over my stuff but first i'm going to send it to these guys and we'll come back here and go through mine but let's just let's do that right now let's send it down to um, A.B. Jr. Luke Griffith and take a look at his hauls. From there, we'll go to Sean Allen's place and then we'll come back here. Yeah. Bringing you some hauls, I guess, um, Black Friday till recording date, which is, I think, December 18th. Yeah, it's December 18th. And um, it's going to be fun. we got some stuff to show you, so uh, let's hop into it. All right, so kicking it off, we got some stuff from the GameStop mystery box, Black Friday. I really, I really don't have a lot, a ton, as I usually would this month time because it's it's Christmas money, you know. Buying some gifts, I'm chilling, I'm chilling a little bit. <laughs> Post Christmas haul, I feel like might be a little intense, but coming out of that GameStop box is uh, none other than Max Goofy's son, and I'm I like the back. I like the back. I wanted to chase, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Oh wait, but you can whenever you pull that Fruit Brute. Ad Icon Pez, that right there is awesome. Uh, notice that there's no candy yet. <laughs> you, that reminded me of um, Matt's unboxing. Is it any better to us? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, prayers for Matt still recovering from that GameStop mystery box. I just bought one. Maybe I was the smart one this time around, but, you know, it's all fun. It's all part of the game, but, yeah, GameStop mystery box. Now, this is a pickup that <clears throat> was certainly required for the recent events. I know not flipping or reselling, just wanted it, and I've had it held back for a bit with Matt. I just never picked it up, honestly. He's had it with me for a long time, and I, I, I needed it. It was Stan Lee. This is the Captain America, the Winter Soldier cameo exclusive to Walmart. And it still has that old set on the back. I like that. I like this box. But, um, yeah, definitely rest in peace, Stan Lee. A legend for sure. If you didn't take advantage of that uh, GameStop Black Friday deal with the uh, the $8 pops, what are you doing? Because you're missing out on some awesome exclusives. Like myself, I needed to catch up. I wanted this one. I could never find myself to buy it for 12 
whatever GameStop charges. But on Black Friday, it was definitely not staying behind. And I don't regret the purchase. It's awesome. I really need that uh, pudgy pig also. So, pumpkin wrapper. Now, this thing is awesome. I would say I saved the best for last, but nope. Nope, nope, but there's still something better, but you already saw the the Big Apple mystery box. You'll see, you'll see. This, I already opened it. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to... Okay, we picked up the camera for this. Look at this, my goodness. It is amazing, amazing pop. I, I honestly saw this thing getting some hate on social media, like, what? Look at it, oh my goodness. Beautiful pop, beautiful. And it makes us an awesome shelf piece for Marvel. Amazing. And I'm looking forward to this movie as well. So yeah, that was the Target exclusive Funko Fridays, which happened to occur on Black Friday. Uh, Green Goblin, 10 inch, Into the Spider-Verse exclusive. Okay, we we really did save the best for last. This is probably the best Hunts and Halls pull on a Funko Brothers video. Like a, a, a grail on a recent Hunts and Halls pull, if you know what I'm saying. Big Apple Collectibles pulled through with the, wow, whoa, Blueberry, the OG Blueberry, I mean, Blueberry, uh, sorry, Blueberry, Ad Icon, General Mills, yeah, you see that number three, number three, it's a, it's a hard stack, too, amazing, I, I've never had a hard stack before, but whenever I pulled this out of that mystery box, I was speechless, as you can see in the, uh, Big Apple Collectibles mystery box video that we uploaded like a couple weeks ago. I, mean, I want to say two weeks ago, one week ago, something like that. Definitely watch that. That's a fun video. And I, ad icons are one of my favorite lines, so I couldn't be happier with this pool. Amazing. Okay, I forgot about one, and this is why the uh, the mat is gone. The black mat that I had, but it doesn't matter. We got one more ad icon. How could I forget? Because I just got this today. A classmate hooked me up with the Twinkie. I, I was, I didn't have this Twinkie. So, I'm going to pick this up. I am grateful for this. Secret Santa <laughs> pulled through with Twinkie the Kid. Tasty. Looks tasty, right? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You know who you are. Um... Another ad icon here bites the dust. What's up, Arson fans? A.B. Waldo here once again on the Funko Super Show. And we're talking about hauls this week. And my haul uh, is all about Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. So got a few new additions I want to show you. So let's check them out. All right, y'all. My first new addition is this Ron Weasley exclusive. Um, it's an exclusive at FYE and Barnes & Noble, I think. Um, actually, it's him with the sorting hat similar to the Hermione that they did um, a while back. Uh, during uh, Comic Con, actually, um, I actually really dig these. I think they're super cool. As you can see, he's sitting on the stool, has a sorting hat on, and he's getting ready to find out that he is a Gryffindor. Um, really, really like this piece. The next new piece I have is the Hot Topic exclusive. Just came out this week. Sirius Black, while he was still in dog form, as you can see, it is a flocked piece. Um, actually, it's super cool. Actually, I may end up taking this out of the box, checking it out, seeing what it feels like, and putting it back in. Um, love this piece. This was a combo with a shirt, and of course, there's the shirt. I really like this shirt as well. Um, the pop shirts usually end up being pretty comfortable, but I dig the shirt as well. Dig the pop. Sirius is actually one of my favorite Harry Potter characters, so when I saw this came out, had to had to get it, had to check and it out. And for my last new uh, piece from the Harry Potter Wizarding World, if you will, uh, Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald just came out. Uh, it's been out a little while now, but I just got to see it. And this is one of the movie moments. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. This is Grindelwald with a Thestral. Um, super cool piece like this. Lots of good detail in there. I think the Thestral looks really awesome. Um, of course, there's Grindelwald. Um, super cool piece. This was actually a, a great deal. Hot Topic had this marked down to 15 bucks, um, and there was a 30% off coupon. It's got a really great deal on this. Uh, super cool piece. Love the movie moments. Um, so there you have it. Just another cool piece. I'm, I'm real glad. All right, y'all. That's the new stuff for me. It was all Harry Potter related. Uh, as you can see, my son's room is done in Harry Potter. So uh, one of these days, I'm sure he'll be super glad that, that Dad collected all these different Harry Potter pieces. Um, until next time, this is Waldo. Check it out. All right. We saw all the those awesome goodies from Mr. Sean Allen from the boy Luke Griffith. I've got some good stuff to show you now. Um, 
I guess I'm going to kind of do it by category, sort of. I don't know. First, the contents of uh, the recent Marvel subscription box. Uh, I can't think of the name of this last one, but it was celebrating. It was from the 10-year anniversary, and his, this was the big piece. The Whiplash versus Iron Man from Iron Man 2 movie moment. Um, this piece got some hate. I think this movie gets some hate in general. I like it. I really love the piece. I think the mold is, is phenomenal. So I personally was extremely pleased with this piece all around. It also came inside was the, you can see here, the gold, gold Hulk, uh, cannot talk, gold Hulk Pez. Keep wanting to say chrome. Not really chrome, though, quite like the other gold Marvel 10-year stuff we've been seeing. But it's still really cool. Happy to get that. Um, I am enjoying these pads. I haven't got a ton of them, but picking up a few here and there. And, and they're fun, they're cheap, and they're cool. So, you know. Um, also in there was these two uh, pint, pint size Heroes. I think this is the first pint size Heroes I've ever actually got best of my knowledge and I'm and I'm pretty sure these are if I can here we go there's the slot I can get them open but these are of the gold variety as well and yes there is a very small gold Thanos that's really cool though I like it and this one it's another gold one I can't remember who and yeah so I don't who is this oh it's Thor Okay, I didn't recognize. I see it there now. Well, I guess. Yeah. A little Thor. So Thor and Thanos, which that's, uh-oh, fitting of that uh, infamous scene, I guess. So, oh, and there's, uh, oh, just like a little, like I said, that was my first pint size Heroes. So just a little checklist, I guess, from their 10 years line. So that's neat. I there's one in here, too. But yeah, so that's my first pint size Heroes ever, actually. And that is the contents of the Marvel, uh, I guess, 10-year anniversary box, whatever they called it. So it was a solid box, man. I really liked it. I saw, like I said, a little bit of hate. I'll set those to the side. And then my other Marvel pickup for this month, Amazon released their 6-inch. I say that because, man, this thing, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love the character. I, of course, love Peter Dinklage. Going back to my Game of Thrones love. Going back to my elf love, even. But... Nonetheless, is it six inch? It's a big box. I mean, yeah, it is a bigger pop. It is a bigger pop. It's bigger, I guess, body bigger, heads bigger, made a little bigger. I get it. But this, compared to, like, say, that Call Obsidian that they put out as a normal pop last year, I don't know. I don't know. But nonetheless, that's not ragging on too much. I really like this. It was an Amazon exclusive. So, glad to have that. And that's kind of my Marvel. Okay, something else we grabbed this month. Actually, a really good deal. If I can get a hold of it. I haven't opened into this yet either. But the um, Coming to America collector box from Target. So, and I'm sure now, after Christmas, there's some great markdowns. But this was marked down. I think I got it for like 16 17 somewhere in that range. If I can get it open. But, I saw later on, it went down to like as low as, I think, 12. So, keep a watch. You can get a good deal on these Pop T uh, bundles from Target, at least occasionally. If they stay in stock, I guess that's the big kicker. But, I'm going to dive into this thing here real quick. There's the shirt. And, there's the Pop. Pop in great condition. And it is the gold... Prince Akeem, and then the shirt basically matches it, I guess, sort of. If I can get it open here. I'm not gonna pop it on this time, but we'll try to try to show it off there. So that it is a pretty cool shirt. I go look at it myself. Akeem Joffrey, Prince of Zumandu. So yeah, so a cool little set, and especially getting it at a great deal. You can't, you can't pass on that. And that's what I'm hoping happens for uh, a couple of the ones that dropped during Target's little Funko Fridays at Christmas that didn't sell out. The, what, the uh, Britney Spears pop 
and T and the Die Hard with the Bruce Willis with the shirt off and then um, uh, the Chuck Norris. So I wouldn't mind having all of those. I, they didn't sell out. I, to my knowledge, they're still not sold out. I don't know that. But hoping maybe we'll catch those on a little sale later on too. So we'll see. I passed on them initially, but you know, wait it out. Patience. It's a virtue. All right. All right. Also grabbed a couple Star Wars um, new pieces. Well, this one's not new, but new to me, of course. The three-pack with Tarful, the Unhooded Emperor, and Utapu Clone Trooper. So I've been wanting this three-pack for quite a while. As I just said, patience it is a virtue. Walmart notorious for marking things down. And if they don't sell out, that's the key. But this has been up forever for 25 bucks. A lot of their other Star Wars exclusive three-packs have went down over time to like 10, 6, I think 3 at one point for some of them. It's like crazy cheap if you watch. Walmart always doing up and down on their prices on Pops Online. But finally was watching and this went down to I think uh, 7 bucks. Had to do it. Been waiting on it. So extremely happy to get this. I love that Emperor Pop. It's one of my favorites. The Tarful as well. Just the whole set. A nice set. And also in the Star Wars. Finally picked up in the Holiday Darth Vader. So I love this Holiday Star Wars set they did. There's others. There's Marvel and SpongeBob this year. They did a lot of Christmas holiday ones, which I'm a fan of. But this actually, Amazon had it a deal of the day for like... 50 and I was ordering stuff anyway so I threw it on why not and happy to get it all right a couple uh, or three I guess kind of random pieces I picked up along the way this one a pop in a box exclusive I've wanted this pop for a long time they had a nice sale going on a bunch of pops this was I don't know, one of their Christmas things, Black. I don't think quite Black Friday that far back. I don't know, but nonetheless, they had this marked down for 15, 12, I don't remember. It was a solid deal, though. I've been looking for this. So finally, the Charlie Brown and the Christmas sweater. So happy to get that, as I just said. And needless to say, I guess, I do enjoy the holidays. Um, okay, another Target pickup, Trading Places. The Louis, the Louis Winthorpe Third and the... the the shovel diversion, I guess you could say. So that's really cool. Happy to get that from Target. And the first ever from a go, calendars.com and calendar stores where these are exclusive. The glow in the dark conductor Beetlejuice. And this thing is so cool. And the glow on this, I don't really have a good way to show on camera, or I would, honestly, but it is one of the one of the finer ones that I've saw, especially of recent. So, very happy to get this one. All right, next up, I'm going to go over a little bit of Disney. Um, quite a bit of Disney, actually. It's been a big Disney December, starting with, and this, a Vanellope, the Walmart exclusive. I don't know if you can see a big crease there, but this thing came actually pretty, uh, a gash there, pretty well destroyed. I opened it up flatten the box for a bit and that seemed to help it but still was rough I mean it, and I, I never noticed that so the numbers maybe I thought on all the Ralph have that little different thing around them click here so maybe that's something from the movie I haven't got to see the movie yet but just noticed that but nonetheless it came pretty bad shape from Walmart order it shipped to store first time I've ever had a problem with that and I, I could have returned it and potentially ordered another one but it, it's fine I mean whatever not that big of a deal really and then uh well let's do this first box lunch movie moment and this will be a common in 2019 however uh, a little pre-holiday whatever box lunch got a pre-release deal on it and well you can see there was the box lunch exclusive pre-release sticker but this thing is just epic sorcerer mickey from Fantasia, one, probably one of the finest pops of the year, really. We'll get into that, I guess, next week. But, man, that thing is nice. And then a couple Mickey colorways. You saw these pop up at Designer Con. And then the Funko Shop actually put them up. The, uh, the I guess, teal and blue one, pink and purple. And let me grab it. One second. 
One second. I'm coming back. Here it is. Got the big one too. I just couldn't pass the big 10 inch colorways Mickey and that thing is just, it's epic. I have the 10 inch black and white Mickey from Target, but man, I couldn't pass. It's so cool. So loving these colorways Mickey. And as you know, there is of course another one of these in a different color that came out. And that's where we're going next because it's the Funko Shop 12 Days of Christmas pool. That's right. I just, we're throwing this all together. This is what I got. I didn't get everything. I didn't get a bundle, but I did get quite a few and I love a lot of the pops that came. So let's look at the 12 Days of Christmas pops from the Funko Shop right now. All right. And I do not remember, so I'm not doing these in order, but the red chrome Batman, one of the most sought after ones, I feel like during this thing it did sell out and this thing everybody goes crazy for these chrome batmans i myself included i guess i got a few at this point but phenomenal i must have grabbed it uh, we'll keep them all together uh here we go how about an ad icon pillsbury doughboy we've been waiting for this they did a little tease with this but had a little picture of him with a christmas cookie we thought we were getting that when we got the regular one so i thought that was funny i liked it um this one, well, actually we'll do, and I think this was day one here, Buddy the Elf with the raccoon, and you know I'm a bit of an elf completionist as far as this line, so I had to have it, of course. And, uh, here we go, the spastic plastics from it, Igor Elf and Flaky. I really love both of those, Flaky Snowman puffing on that big cigar. Igor Elf, this little present. Um, also got the Christmas Wish Bear. From the Care Bears line. I have got the, uh, I, I don't have any Care Bears except I got the Halloween one. They popped up the Christmas one. What gotta do? And I just said it, spoke about it. The other colorways, Mickey. Uh, I guess gold and light red, I don't know. But nonetheless, all these Mickey's super cool. Had to have. And this wasn't actually one more piece, and this is it for me. I already got it in a protector. The Make-A-Wish Freddy. This wasn't the 12 Days of Christmas. I've had it for a minute. I haven't got to show it off. And they raised a, a ridiculous amount of money for Make-A-Wish for this. And uh, it's an absolutely great program. It's a great pop. Superhero. The uh, Metallic. It's a fine pop. Happy to have this one in the collection. And happy that it went to a good cause. So, now I have a bunch of pops to put somewhere away. Isn't that everyone's problem? Room, room, room. I know it is here at the Arson Compound, but we love them. We're going to keep buying them. We're going to keep bringing them to you. So on behalf of A.B. John Allen, on behalf of the boy, A.B. Jr. Luke Griffith, I'm A.B. Matt Klein. We are the Arson Brothers. We are the Funko Brothers Super Show. We're on the Arson Brothers Network. Please subscribe. Thank you so much again. We'll be back with our next episode with their favorite pops of 2018. We can't wait to see you then. Hooked on the brothers. Uh. Hooked on the brothers. Yo, you're in for a treat, so hang on to.